Alright guys, this week we're going to work on a continuation of what we were doing last week. Um, Tommy's in Z-Guard here. He's going to do a good job of releasing his knee and getting underneath me. Remember, the first thing you need to do when your partner goes on the offensive here is, is defend his underhook. So when he releases his knee and comes up here, I'm going to drop my shoulder into his sternum. I'm going to get the near side underhook, which is super important to kill on his underhook. And my hand is going to come, my elbow is going to collapse this underhook here and I'm going to make, control his knee. It's very important because I don't want him to be able to rotate his hip that way and get the deep half guard. And I also don't want to let him put this hook in. If he can lift his underhook up and get here, he can, he's in a good position to sweep me. So um, I killed his deep half, and then I got to make sure I also kill his hook coming in here. So last week we were able to drive Tommy down by just pushing here. This week he's a little bit bigger, he's a little bit better, he's a little more technical. When I push him down, he's, going to, he's just going to get a little bit better frame. So when he goes here, he goes that way, and he's not going down. If I push anymore, I risk him getting this hook in. Like that, if I start pushing, there's this hook and I'm gonna get swept. So when I get here, I get him this far, I'm gonna go ahead and take this arm out here. I'm gonna rotate under and I'm gonna grab the center of his back. Notice my shoulders underneath his chin, it's lifting up. Now from here, I'm gonna be able to put him on his back. So as I go here, I drive down here like this and I wanna readjust here. When I get here now, I'm going to go ahead and push his leg down. I'm going to slide, slide. Once I feel I'm pretty low here and my shin can go across this thigh, I'm gonna grab his knee. My other leg is gonna go across this thigh here. I'm gonna start to pull and kick. From here, you can go to heel to heel and try to go to mount. A little safer, just take your hand, go to the hip, and finish in side control. So I'm in here. Tommy's got a good Z guard. He dives in, good job right here, I smash. I kill his underhook and I get my near side underhook here. I want to drive him down here. I push, he frames. Hand goes underneath the neck, I grab the back and I'm going to put him on his shoulder here. From here I take my time, I'm going to slide my hand back. I push the knee down, I keep sliding back. Once my shin hits the top of his thigh here, I can pull his leg and kick. You can go heel to heel, step over and go to mouth. Or when you get here, you can kick the thigh. Hand goes to the hip because he still has the underhook. He's still going to want to come up. So I block his hip, rotate, keep his shoulder, my shoulder and his chin looking up. Finish in side control. Oops. All right, guys, let's take a look at some common mistakes here. Um, once again, when Tommy releases his knee and dives in, he did a good job of getting underneath me. I need to collapse my shoulder down here, get my near side underhook, and control his arm. Too many times, guys will do this really well but then kind of go to a wizard here and let him get his hook in. Or from here, he'll just keep lifting, yeah, yeah. he'll keep lifting his underhook up. Now he's gonna get the deep half. So when you get here, collapse his elbow into his hip and control his leg. It's super important before you do anything. From here, he's gonna wanna actually look for something else to do. If you, if you, can, if you get good at this part of the drill. Now, when I tried to push Tommy down, he did a good job of basing. I couldn't get his shoulder back in here. So when you guys get here, this is not gonna be enough. Get your shoulder underneath. Look at Tommy's chin go up here. And when I drive Tommy down here like this, no problem here. Do not let him turn too much into you. This is right here. If his, face, if his head is facing me, I'm gonna have a hard time getting this leg out without getting driven over. So when you get here, it's very important that when you get here, you go up. His face needs to be looking up, worst case scenario. If he can turn his head here like this, it, it, I'm, I'm risking when I come out. So make sure his, his face is, is up and I keep driving up. From here, don't try to lift up too much so that I'm gonna put you back in half guard. I just wanna keep pushing back, sliding back until my shin can hit his thigh. Once my shin hits his thigh here, pull a little bit, kick the bottom leg and it comes out from here. Don't back up too much here because he will be able to get to his knees. Right here, he's gonna to wanna to run away from me with his underhook up like this. So when you get here, keep this knee, keep his chin up. From here, control the knee so he can't walk away. Hand goes to the hip. If he walks away from me now, no problem. I can settle when we get here. Oops. 